Greetings, junior scientists. There are thousands of species of plants on Earth. They are on every continent, including Antarctica. They are in the ocean and other bodies of water around the world. Plants are an integral part of life on Earth. The ability of a plant to produce its own food from the energy of the sun makes it the foundation in all food chains. Each part of a plant plays an important role in its survival. Today, we'll examine the main parts of a plant and discuss what each part does. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Here at the base of the plant, you'll find the roots. Roots come in all different shapes and sizes. Regardless of the way they look, they perform the same functions. First, they anchor the plant. They spread out and weave their way through the soil to provide a strong foundation. Secondly, they absorb water and minerals for the plant. Lastly, they provide storage for the plant. A carrot is a root. It is storing energy for the plant, energy that we eat. The next plant part is the stem. Just like roots, different plants have different looking stems. The trunk of a tree is a plant stem. The stem of this rose has thorns. Saguaro cactus stems are thick, waxy, and spongy. Celery is an example of a stem that you eat. The stem of a plant is responsible for holding the plant up. It provides support for the plant. You can do it, plant. <laughs> Not that kind of support. It also contains little tubes. One set of tubes takes water and minerals up to the leaves, and another set of tubes brings the food that was produced in the leaves back down to the plant. In some plants, like the saguaro cactus, the stem also stores water. Many species of cacti store water in their stems. Now the next part of the plant is the leaves. Leaves vary so much that you can use them to determine the species or type of plant that you are observing. Here is an oak leaf, a maple leaf, a pine leaf. Yes, even this needle from a pine tree is a leaf. The most important function of a leaf is to make food. To make food, the leaf will absorb the energy from the sun. In a process called photosynthesis, plants convert light energy to sugars. The leaves of a plant are also responsible for gas exchange. Plants absorb carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. You eat leaves. Yes, you do. There's cabbage and lettuce. The last part does not appear on all plants. However, flowers are an important part of many plants. The flower is responsible for producing seeds. They are colorful in the hopes of attracting insects like bees. They also contain nectar that insects use for food. Bees will transfer pollen from one flower to another, fertilizing the plant and allowing it to make seeds. You might not realize that broccoli is actually a flower. As you can see, all of the plant parts are extremely important to the survival of the plant. The roots anchor the plant to the ground, draw in water and minerals, and store food. The stem supports the plant in two main ways. It transports water up from the roots and also sends food made in the leaves down to the rest of the plant. In some plants, like a cactus, the stem will store water. The leaves make food through a process called photosynthesis, taking the sun's energy and turning it into food for the plant and you too. Flowers on a plant enable it to make seeds. Insects like bees help to carry pollen from one plant to another. Look outside at some plants around your house. See if you can name all of the parts of the plant and what these parts do to help the plant survive. Until next time, have a scientific day.